So I'm talking to Sebastian Schreiber of SYSS, a German security consultancy. Sebastian, could I call you a professional hacker? Uh, that's, a, that's correct, uh, but a better term is penetration tester. That means that we are only doing a contract work and only doing legal, ethical attacks against the networks of our customers. Can you tell us what's the security situation for European companies at the moment? What are the main threats? Yes. Um, as we perform penetration tests and professional hacking against networks, uh, I can tell you that we are very um, successful. That means uh, when we attack the networks or the web applications of big companies, uh, we are able to get into the networks uh, in about 80 to 90 percent. And where are the main threats coming from? We've heard a lot about uh, attacks from China on US companies recently. Uh, do European companies face a similar threat? Uh, of course, the same threats uh, also apply in Germany. Uh, for example, manipulated PDFs uh, are also effective all around the world. Everybody that used the Adobe Reader um, was affected by this vulnerability. Sounds like everyday software is one of the risks rather than security software. So what should IT security managers be paying attention to? Uh, I think uh, there are two things that are very important. The first is quality management. Uh, you have to assure that uh, your systems uh, have got high quality. Uh, don't build up your IT environment very fast and under pressure. Uh, then it's obvious that uh, there will be bugs, vulnerabilities, weaknesses, leaks. Um, so quality is something that is uh, very important. Uh, and the second uh, thing is uh, to perform uh, security tests. You have to ensure that uh, there are no things that you've got forgotten, no uh, weeks, no holes in it. And uh, after you identified uh, the problems, then you can fix them easily. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Talking to Stefan Vescher, Norton product expert at Symantec. Stefan, how aware are your customers about the security problems they face? Usually, a lot of customers, they don't want to really spend too much time on the security topics. They just want to be protected and um, know they are secure without having uh, too much interaction with their security product. And that's probably why they buy the Norton products, because they're so easy to use and still secure. It sounds as though your customers are really relying on you to cover them. Uh, what are the biggest threats they really face? Yeah, so one of the biggest threats at the moment, uh, I think the most tricky one for most users is so-called drive-by downloads. Um, those um, attacks are legitimate websites that are getting hacked and then uh, the hacker includes some uh, invisible code and every time a new user comes to the website, it automatically downloads some malicious code to his system. And users are getting really surprised because usually there are legitimate sites that are uh, being used for those attacks. Security software won't usually work unless it's correctly configured. What are the most common mistakes you see? Yeah, so um, to avoid that problem, as you said, it's, it's important that software is configured in the right way. We, um, we decided to have a very easy installation and also um, all Norton products come pre-configured with the most uh, common settings. So even if you don't change the settings at all, you are still protected. Everything is set up in a way that your system is secure and even backup is also configured. We've seen recently that many people are still running very old browsers, Internet Explorer 6 for example. And that seems to be how Google was attacked from China in December. So what can security software do to protect users from themselves? So clearly users should update their, their browser versions, but most of them don't because they just don't care too much about security. And um, to make sure users are still protected, we have included some uh, special technologies into the Norton products that, for example, sit in the browser and um, basically check all activity in the browser if it's um, something that's attacking security vulnerabilities. And if it is, it's automatically being blocked. So even if they don't update, they are still secure in that case. Thank you, Stefan. Thank you.